Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create layouts with Avid Control for use with an Avid S1, S3, and even the older artist mixes. I'll also cover different ways of recalling the layouts on both Avid Control and the S1. For those of you who are new to layouts, layouts are simply a selection of tracks in your session that are laid out on your control surface in an order you specify. For instance, you may want a layout of drum tracks, or a layout of guitar tracks, or even a layout of your output masters. Layouts are super useful, so I thought I'd cover how they work. Let's get started. First, make sure to open a Pro Tools session with at least eight tracks. Then open Avid Control on your tablet or iPad. If you're not using Avid Control, you should definitely check it out. It's a super powerful way to control Pro Tools, and it's completely free. So in Avid Control, on the Tracks page, tap the Assign button and make sure the Tracks function is selected. More on the different functions later. You'll see at the bottom all of the tiles that represent the physical faders or channels you have on your control surfaces. Here it shows nine channels because I have an S1 and a dock. Notice how all the channels are set to auto assign. This means that the control surface will have access to all of the tracks in your session. It can be considered a default layout. Let's create our first layout with all the channels assigned this way. Hit the store button and tap the first tile and let's name it all. You've just created your first layout. Next, let's create a layout of all drum tracks. Let's start by blanking out all the channels by tapping blank all. Then choose the tracks you want in your layout by tapping them up on top. Chosen tracks will be outlined in green. Here's a quick tip. You can hold down the first track until it outlines in green and then swipe your finger across the row. Now that the tracks have been chosen, we can assign them to the channels on your control surface by tapping on the first tile you want the assignments to start on. In this case, let's use channel one. You'll see the channel tiles populate with the track names and the faders on the control surface should populate with the values in your session. Hit store and choose tile two. Let's call this one drums. All right, we've just created our second layout. Let's create some other layouts using the bass and guitar tracks. I'm gonna start by blanking all. We'll choose our bass and two guitar tracks and assign them to the first three channels. We're gonna name this bass and guitars. GTRS and done. Now that we've created the layouts, there are a few ways that we can recall them. In Avid Control, you can recall a layout by choosing it from the drop-down on the top right under Filters and Layouts. You can also use the soft key page and additionally you can use the Tracks page. But the easiest way to recall layouts is to use the S1. On the S1, you can recall layouts by holding down the shift button and pressing the buttons at the bottom. Starting on the left would be layout one and continuing on. If you have a dock, you can also use the shift button on there too, which I feel is a little bit easier. Now that we've created some layouts, we can also edit them. In Avid Control, on the Tracks page, press the Assign button. You'll see that the channel tiles at the bottom are populated with the current layout. Let's choose a layout with some tracks in it. Notice next to the Assign button, we have some other functions. Track, which means you want to assign a track to a channel. Blank Strip which means you want to assign a blank strip to a channel. ETT track means attention track, so that means you'd want to assign the attentioned track to a selected channel and auto assign. That means you want to assign a channel the next available track in Pro Tools. Now notice at the bottom, we have insert, delete, blank all, and clear all. Insert will insert the chosen track or function into the channel tile you choose, shifting the rest to the right. Use this with caution because whatever you have assigned to the last channel tile on the right will get shifted off of the layout. 
Let me give you an example. So here we have our drum layout. And if I choose this guitar track, and I'm on the insert function down here, and I tap on this first channel tile, it's going to shift everything to the right, shifting off whatever we had in that last assignment, channel assignment, off of the layout. The next function is delete. If we choose a channel and we choose delete, it's going to delete whatever assignment you had for that channel and shift everything to the left. The next button we have is blank all, which is pretty self-explanatory. It'll blank all the channels. And the one after that is clear all. This will set all the assignments to auto assign, which will basically show you all of the tracks in your session. Well, there you have it. A basic rundown on how to create and edit layouts using Avid Control and how to recall them on a control surface. Layouts are super useful, so if you have an S1 or S3 or Artist Mix, definitely give them a try. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.